Good afternoon, my Westlake Baptist Church family. I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, I just I felt God laying something on me so very heavy that I just knew today was the day I had to get it out. Um, and I didn't want to send another email because I, I feel like sometimes, uh, you know, when there's long emails, you, you kind of read the first couple lines and skip it. But this is too important for us to skip. And so I just I decided this is the way that I needed to get it out. Uh, I don't know if it, if you've ever had this before, but sometimes you you feel like God is saying something to you and just really laying something on your heart, uh, very heavy. But then that little seed of doubt starts to creep in. Um, am I really hearing from God, or, or is this just something I want to do? And and I want to sound religious, so I, I add God's name on it, but. I tell you what really solidified it for me uh, was a couple weeks ago in our Bible reading plan in Luke 16. Uh, Jesus says, he who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. And he who is dishonest or unfaithful in a very little is dishonest in much. And I just asked the Lord after reading the verse, Lord, is there something I'm not being faithful in? And I'm going to tell you, immediately in that moment, uh, this was impressed upon me, uh, and I think it was impressed upon me so hard because uh, I almost put this into the State of the Church address at the end of December of last year, but like I said, that little seed was like, well, is this really from God, or, or is this just something uh, that I, I want to do, and you know, we, we want to make it sound religious, and so we're just going to say, you know, in Jesus' name, it, and so I just kept putting it off, putting it off. And finally there in Luke 16, it was as though God said, are you going to be faithful in the little things? And so here's what I'm talking about. God had laid on my heart for us to pray, to prepare for, and to really uh, earnestly seek for God to answer a prayer, and it is that 21 or more people will be saved and baptized at Westlake Baptist Church in 2021. And I'm going to tell you, that's a huge number. Um, that, that's a huge number any year, you know, for a, a smaller church, but uh, I mean, let alone we're in the middle of a pandemic, right? Uh, church attendance hasn't necessarily been what we've expected or or hoped it would be. So I've been sitting here going, Lord, really? And he just kept bringing it back, kept bringing it back, kept bringing it back. And so I wanted to get this out to you because I need your help. We need to, to be praying, to be intentionally preparing and to do the work that God has called us to do, which is to share the gospel with those around us. And, you know, I just looked at, in, in Ephesians 4, it says that my role is to equip the saints for the work of ministry. And so I just kind of got a, a question in my mind earlier today as I was driving to do some visits, and, and it was, Lord, what am I going to do if all of a sudden on a Sunday, you know, five, six people uh, come down the aisle in response to uh, the gospel presentation and they want to give their life to Christ? Because I don't want to give somebody a false assurance. I, I want to make sure uh, that we talk to them and that they understand the gospel as much as possible. So, so Lord, what am I going to do? And again, it was equip the saints for the work of ministry. And so this is where I want to ask for your help. I would like to ask for men and women, as many as, as would answer this call from God, I want to be able to have some men and women who are trained and ready on a Sunday or even a Wednesday when people are here and we're given the gospel. If they respond, that I could just have come up front and take uh, the man or, or the woman kind of off to the side and talk with them and make sure that they really understand the gospel because the last thing we want to do is give somebody a false assurance uh, of their salvation. But 
I just want to ask you, would you be that man or, or that woman that would say, you know what, I want to be a part of this. I want to join God where he is already working. Because I want to tell you, I believe that God is really up to some incredible things uh, at Westlake and in other places. But we need to pull together and we need to serve the Lord together. And so I just want to ask you, would you be that person, those, part of the, those people that say, you know what, if somebody wants to give their life to Christ, I want to be a part of that. I want to see God use me to bring somebody else into the greatest relationship that I've ever had. And if you would answer that call, if you are, are watching this video and you just think, man, that's exactly what God is asking me to do. I'm going to ask you, will you reach out to me? You can text me. You can email me. See me in person. Uh, call me on my cell phone. Uh, I promise you, it's not as hard or as scary as you think it is. But the bottom line is, if we are going to see people reached for the gospel, we're going to have to do this together. Now, is God going to save 21 or more people? And are they all going to get baptized this year here at Westlake? I got to be honest, I don't know. I know that God is more than capable of doing it. I believe that God's heartbeat is to save sinners and to help them grow into this new creation that he has made them. But I do know this, that we will not see the growth that I believe God wants to give us unless we step out in faith, unless we start praying bold prayers that are well beyond our abilities. And let's be honest, this is one of those. But I just feel deep in my, my spirit that God wants to do an incredible work here at Westlake, and the number that just keeps coming back is 21. I don't know what the significance of it is, uh, but I'm trusting that God is gonna do what only God can do. And I want as many of us as possible to be a part of that. So would you respond to that call? Will you step out in faith and say, yes, Lord? If you will, again, please reach out to me. I want to talk through a couple of things, but I promise God will be the one that saves, that talks through us, and that uses us for his glory, for our good, and the salvation of the lost. I can't think of a better time and a better purpose to be used than this one right here. So I hope that you will join me where God is already working and that together we will see God do more than we could ever think to ask or imagine here in Westlake. I'll see you soon. God bless you all.